we want to be able to go to a movie path here that we defined earlier and see the details for a given movie. So if we click on a movie like The Godfather, we should be able to go into movie and then see all the details for The Godfather. And to do this, we're going to pass in the ID of a given movie into the URL, and then the movie component will then query the web service for that given movie. So we'll type in movie slash then the ID, and the component will read that. And since I'm specifying a path that doesn't exist right now, we're getting kicked back to the root path or an empty path, and there's no component defined. So that's why we're seeing a blank screen and just our navigation at the top. But we can fix this by redirecting to our other components. So we'll go into our routes array and we'll add another entry of path. And we'll just do two single quotes to signify an empty path. And we'll say redirect to the home path, which will then give us the home component. And then we have to add another property here called path match. And then we'll specify a value of full. And this essentially tells Angular in the router that we want to match the full path of our URL to what we defined earlier being just an empty path. And now you can see I want to go to empty path. We actually get our home component still. Next, we need to be able to pass an ID into our movie component. And to do that, we'll add a forward slash colon ID, which essentially adds a property called ID onto our URL parameters that we can later snag from the movie component. Now I want to go to the movie path with an ID passed into it. Our movie component works as expected. So everything's working. We're just not doing anything with this ID yet. So back in my movie component file, I'll make a new method here called load movie, which will take the parameter out of the URL and then I'll go fetch the movie from the web services. And so I'm going to stop here at the movie ID because in order to grab this, we actually need a new service from the router called activated route. And this essentially lets us grab properties or inspect different elements from the actual route that we're on. So we'll say import activated route from the router package. And then we'll go into our constructor and declare a private variable of route and say that it is of type activated route. And remember, we're not instantiating a new activated route, we're just declaring the type, and we're gonna let Angular do that for us. So the Angular router actually has a lot of properties exposed as observables, which is great, because we can watch and monitor changes within the route, but we actually just want a given value, we don't really wanna subscribe, so we can get this from the snapshot parameter of the activated route. So within the snapshot value, we have a few methods available to us that allow us to take the keys or values from a given URL, such as the ID in this case. So back in our movie component, I'll say this dot route that we just declared, and then I'm going to say that snapshot value and then param map. And then here I can say get ID and pass in an, a string for the value. So we want the value of ID and that ID property is what we declared earlier on the route itself. So let's go ahead and log the movie ID and make sure that we're getting it correctly. And so I'll just say console.log movie ID. And then on the init of the component, I will just call the load movie. And so when we check our console here, we actually see that value on the bottom too. So I'm going to refresh and then we see two. So something important here to note, especially because we're in TypeScript is that when I get my value like this, it's actually a string. And so even though I have a value of two, the type of the data is actually a string. And I might actually want to convert that into a number to then pass to a later function. And I can do this with a really handy short syntax with this is plus in front of my this.route snapshot param and it will convert whatever the value is into the correct data type. So infer the data type, and now you will see that it's actually a type of number. So now that we're getting the value passed through the URL into our movie component, I'm gonna go into the movie service file and add a new method here to actually fetch a given movie by it's an ID. I'm gonna define a new method here. I'm gonna call it get by ID, and I'm gonna say it returns an observable because that's what the HTTP service is returning for us and I'll just allow it to be any kind of data type. So we don't really have a de class defined for our actual data at this point. And so I'm just gonna paste in my URL here and then I'll say return this.http.get and then URL and then again, we're gonna pipe in the whole observable so we can catch errors and handle them in a different way because we need to format it for our user. So we'll say pipe and they'll say catch error, this.handle error. And so we have our get by ID function here, which will allow us to get the movie details of a given movie. And then don't forget to pass in the ID that we're actually going to feed it. So then back in our movie component, don't forget to then import our movie service so we can use it. So we'll say import movie service from our movie service file. And then we're no stranger to using services. We'll go down into our constructor. We'll make a new private variable called movie service. And we'll say it is of type of movie service. Again, not instantiating it, but just saying it is of type of movie service and letting Angular's dependency injection 
take care of instantiating a new service or returning one that already is. Don't forget to declare some variables for a movie and error. And then we'll go down to the load movie, call our new method of get by ID, pass in that movie ID variable that we already formatted and, and took from the URL. We'll subscribe to it because it's an observable. And then we'll catch that data that comes back if it, it succeeds or we'll set the error if the catch error pipe that we had earlier throws us an error. Next, we'll go into our template file so we can actually modify it to render the data that we just pulled in. We'll remove this boilerplate code that we have in front of us, and then we'll just replace it with a title, the release date, and then a description of the movie. And don't forget to surround your properties as I am right now in double brackets because that signifies a variable within our component and that we're binding to. And as soon as I refresh my page, we get all the details that we expected. And right now I'm just typing in random IDs and we're actually looking out and pulling out movies. But what we want is to be able to click on one of our top rated lists and then go into those details. So let's do that right now. And we can accomplish this fairly easy by just going into our movie list template file and modifying it just a little bit. We'll replace the plain movie title and add a link element between the list item and we'll make sure we'll use that router link director from Angular because we actually want to bind the movie ID into our path here. And we'll say movies forward slash movie ID. So once I fix a minor typo here and actually replace this with the correct path and I click on and give an item, I get the details for that movie. And now our application's really coming together because we have multiple views and we have a master detail list where we can actually click on a list element and then go into those details and query the web services dynamically.